I think a lot about like rhythm or sequence, but trying to get all the all the parts of my swing moving at the right time. And a lot of times for me, that's uh, more time at the top of the golf swing. Keep it very simple, very connected and around me. When I get quick, a lot of things go wrong. Swing and let it go. Clinical. Calculating. Almost robotic. Patrick Cantlay owns an efficient and reliable golf swing. Perennially a top 10 ball striker on tour, he is one of a select group of golfers who are both long and accurate off the tee. Oh, this looks like a good one. Cantlay definitely has sort of that extra gear. He gets to these par fives, he can turn it loose a little bit. I love the way Cantley chases that right shoulder through the ball. He keeps it low, yeah. Bit of old school Harry Barden in that finish. And he sticks his finish, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, I love that. The 2021 FedEx Cup champion and an eight-time winner on the PGA Tour, Patrick has gone from hitting what his coach Jamie Mulligan called a high school hook to a very powerful fade off the tee. Now that's the shaft alignment at address and I use that for a reason, because to fade the golf ball, you have to swing to the left with a neutral club face. So watch what he does. As the club goes away, outside the ball, above that plane line, and halfway back, notice the shaft alignment is standing up just a little bit more. Now, as he takes it to the top, he just winds around that position, hands over the shoulders. Now in transition, watch how those hands are going to travel down that line. Perfect now because he's above the plane and watch now how as he approaches contact he can deliver the club head from slightly outside of the ball. Look at that right there. That now is setting up a path that goes a little to the left. Do that with a neutral club face and you are going to smash some hard left starting fades all day long and that is what Patrick Cantlay does. Cantlay on the tee at 16. Trying to get it to ride that wind. Oh yeah, it gets a good couple bounces too. This is way down there. That is 355. He's gotten longer the last few years. He's gotten in the gym. He's stronger than he was two or three years ago. His club head speed has definitely picked up. This one for Cantlay down the left side, fading back towards the center. That is money. I'm a big fan of not being stagnant over the ball. When he gets to a dress, he's hitting it. Cantlay with a driver from the front. It's a very simple action with limited excess moving parts. Now, first off, just to bear in mind, when you're setting up for a driver, you want to build a nice wide base, which he does. And ordinarily, you'll see most golfers move the ball a bit more forward in their stance, somewhere around the instep of the foot. Patrick, in this instance, has the ball a little farther back in the stance, and I'm going to show you why. Now, remember how I mentioned how things are pretty limited in terms of excess moving parts. Well, watch that line. That's his spine basically from the belt buckle to his chin. He's got that very strong grip. I want to highlight that for just a minute. And you can see there how the left hand is over the top of the club, right hand's more underneath. That is kind of the modern day golfer, how they play. It promotes a strong club face. Now, let's revisit that spine angle. And watch with Patrick how simple, how no frills the swing is. As he starts away, club just moves gracefully along the ground, body just rotating essentially around the spine, arms stretching out to his side. That is beautiful, creating a whole lot of width here, setting up the top of his backswing. So we'll take him to the top now. And you see how he's still very centered, very stable looking. Now this is the key really, because with that ball back in the stance, you see how he looks like he's behind the ball. I feel like if the ball was a little farther forward, he may have some issues over there, with the swing path especially. So from now, watch how head behind the ball, body just unwinds, legs underneath him, arms begin to release, and look at that right there. I want to highlight once again the hand position. Remember what it looked like at the start? Well, now at impact, it's very much back in the same place, in so doing, presenting a very square club face to the slightly leftward arc. And from there, he set up that fade. 
his body just releases into that full flowing, full balanced follow through. Another squarely struck ball that is launching down the left center with just the babiest of fades. That was Patrick Cantley launching it. Yeah, Cantley has one of the best transitions in golf. That was seven iron on the way, and boy, it is a good looking. And that is right at it. Never left the flag. Dynamite shot from Cantley. Right up the hill. So all the way in the back left, and another stiff shot from Cantley. He has just flagged it. And back over to the 17th for Cantley. Boy, that's a beautiful tempo, isn't it? Yes, it is. Wow. Is that any good? How about that grouping by McElroy and Cantley? Cantley with the out finish. Remember when I said that Patrick Cantley's golf swing was efficient? There were limited excess moving parts. We'll watch this with an iron. Worm's eye view from this camera angle. An address very standard, nicely plugged in there between his feet. Now, with a driver, I highlighted that spine angle. Well, it's there in between those two vertical lines which show the insteps of the feet. So as Cantlay moves away, you'll see how his body just operates and rotates inside of the confines that are set up by the knees and the insides of his feet. Arms stretching away. Look at that rotation. He's right in the middle and right over the top of the insteps of his feet. Arms stretched out, club face little closed, but absolutely fine. Eyes trained on the back of the golf ball. He is beautiful right here. Now you're going to see the lower body lead as he starts to unwind. Look at how stable that spine angle is. Covering the ball, arms presented back in front of him. And can you see he's right back over where he began, hands slightly leading the face. He is in the position to promote a compressing, somewhat downward strike. From there, watch the arms just straighten, extend through contact, handle leading, and now he follows the swing of the club all the way to another balanced follow through. That, folks, is as simple as it gets. Patrick Cantley going right at it. That is gorgeous. Oh, gosh. you're not kidding. What a go shot. Beautiful by Cantley. Sandwich in his hand. This flag is a sitting duck. Yeah, as long as you get across the false front, that is perfection. Good call, Mark. From 118, boy, this is attack mode here. Well, oh, what a pretty swing that was. God, there was just nothing hurried about it. Double lesson here with Patrick Cantlay and a wedge in his hand. First off, you can see there by the tilt of the ground that he is on a down sloping lie. So here's how to hit a wedge well and to hit it well off a down sloping lie too. First off, from that area, you'd like to move the ball back in your stance just a touch as he is done. That promotes clean contact. Secondly, you want to try and match your body lines in terms of your hips and certainly your shoulders up with the camber of the ground too. That is just absolutely perfect for Cantlay to make a ball first strike. Now, as he swings to the top, I want to highlight movement that helps one to strike downwards and compress a golf ball. So there he is at the top, all pretty standard. But now watch this left shoulder. Watch it move down and away from his chin as he starts down. Lower body leads. The left shoulder will separate from the chin. See that move there? One more time. Let's look at that. The lower body leads. And watch how the left shoulder goes down and away from the chin. That is setting up a downward and compressing strike. So down to contact, look how he's covering the ball, left shoulder's low, and look at that. So much downward strike, look at the angle there, how that shaft is being flexed because of the contact of the head with the ground. See the eye line remains down. Now from there, the body just follows again the swing of the club all the way through to a balanced finish. Unhurried, unworried, playing the angle of the slope. That was another wedge in there to birdie range. Driving the ball down low, gonna carry him past the hole and see if it'll spin. Here it comes. Man, did it ever. It might do it. It did it. 
it started a little left of the flag, stays there. Ooh, nice. Hey, he used the backstop. How about that? I haven't seen anyone use that today. If you consider all drives this week, he's leading the field in driving distance. That one had a little speed on it too, so should get a nice bounce forward. How about the curve? <laughs> Only five feet of curve on that ball. So a pretty good line here. Will it? Will it? Maybe. Patrick Henry! There it is! No need to putt that one.